Ocean's 8 is out right now, and I think I should review Ocean's 11 before reviewing Ocean's 8. So let's talk some Ocean's 11. Ocean's 11. Ele okay, if you're if you're wondering if there was some editing mistake there where I forgot the trailer clip, no, just that there's when I go. Okay, so when I'm I'm gonna do these for more reviews. When I go back to like the 2000, like early 2000s or 90s, or back then, like older movies, I particularly don't, I won't do trailer clips, because that is a hard thing to do, because trailers were not good back then, they're just, they're hard to edit with, they're very, I guess, incooperative. So I might try doing it with another movie review, but today I could not find a good Ocean's 11 trailer, so I'm just, I'm just doing this, where I just don't do a clip, and I talk about the heist. Ocean's Eleven has been my favorite heist movie for years now, and it sticks to that point. It's been that way for years. Now, in general, I don't think heist movies are the best movies. None of them are amazing, but they're fun movies, because they're always very interesting. Now, another heist movie that I absolutely love is The Italian Job. But I think Ocean's Eleven is just more fascinating. It's just a cooler story. Also, that was about robbing a vault. Vaults aren't vaults are used a lot. I like it when they switch it up. This one's about robbing a casino with a vault in it. So never mind. This movie also has one of the best, I guess, twists of any heist movie ever. It has like the best just plot twist of any heist movie. It's one of my favorite plot twists of all time. This is just probably going to be one of my lo shorter reviews because I don't have anything to add to it. I don't have a beginning clip. I don't have a trailer intro. I just have me hawking about Ocean's Eleven. Also, I think George, Cl George Clooney is an actor that I really like, but sometimes he doesn't play in the bad movies. He always, he always stands out in the bad movies. Like, when he played back in... Um, Batman and Robin, he was one of the better parts of that a horrible movie. It's one of the worst, but I think that George Clooney didn't do bad in that movie. I also think George Clooney is the standout star of the very forgettable Tomorrowland. Like, it's super forgettable. And I think this is his best role yet, just, or of all time, just because... He's the most invented. He's just this most stylist guy. And he plays Danny Ocean. I I need to say that. Or Daniel Ocean. I, I'm going to call him Danny because that's what they called him in the Ocean's 8 trailer. And that's the only reference I really have for a while since I've really seen Ocean's Love. And I don't own it, but I've seen it before. If I own a movie, I praise that movie and I give it a 9 out of 10. Most of these movies... I give, I think, every single movie on here a 9 out of 10. That's why they're on here. Ocean's Eleven isn't perfect. It still has its moments of just... Okay, Matt Damon's this movie, he does good too, but when you have a movie of 11 people, it's a bit hard to squeeze development out of any of them. I think that Danny Ocean has the most development, but most of them don't have much development. And in the end... It doesn't really leave me with a satisfying ending. If you win a heist movie, now that's not really a spoiler. But yeah, they win, duh. But um, when at the end of the heist movie, when they win, it's just like, yay, we're rich now. Okay. That that the that. Um. I guys in the end, I haven't seen Ocean's Twelve or Thirteen. Just because they never interest me because I was like, ah, sequels to heist movie. Doesn't sound like a very good idea. But in the end, Ocean's Eleven is one of the more, is one of the most interesting heist movies ever. It's always been my favorite heist movie. It's not perfect because, you know, you have 11 characters in one movie. That's a bit hard to develop them all. It has its funny moments, has its epic twist. It's just a straight up heist movie. A fun one at that. I think it deserves an 8 out of 10. If I give Ocean's 8 an 8 out of 10, that'll be perfect. Alright, so Ocean's 11. What do you guys think? Because you most likely have seen it. Let me know in the comment section below. I'll be seeing Ocean's 8.
next week. I'm not seeing it today. Just saying. But I will be seeing it as soon as I can. Okay? See you guys next time.